So we've already talked about ways to conceptualize two manners of articulation, stops and fricatives. When we turn our attention to affricates, we're going to end up sort of combining um, the two previous uh, manners. So there are two affricates in English, ch and j. An affricate is just a combination of a stop and a fricative. Uh, there are many more in other languages than, than we have. We just have the two. Um, but let's go through the different ways that we can conceptualize um, to see how this man of our, manner of articulation works. So when we first start talking about the degree of closure, we're going to start with a degree of closure for a stop, which is going to be full. So um, we could go for ch, we can go up for the t, and we're going to have full closure. Um, and then we're going to adjust and have partial closure for a fricative-like portion of sh. So we get ch, ch, ch. So we go from uh, full to partial closure. The pressure then, logically, will go from substantial pressure to considerable pressure. So the pressure will begin to um, um, go down as uh, the valving allows it to be released. Um, the type of pressure release is gradual. So the, we have full, uh, full closure, and then it's going to gradually release, giving us a a big um, um, uh, pressure release initially, and then as we uh, allow more opening, um, the pressure is a little bit less. So uh, gradual pressure release. Um, the timing, um, we've sort of, it's hard to talk about one of these uh, without talking the other. So as we've said, it's, um, we have, um, full um, closure and then um, partial closure. So the release follows the, the, um, the full closure and then sort of continues with the partial closure, if that makes sense. And then the airflow is going to be toward turbulent and you can sort of hear that. Ch -ch -ch. Hope that helps.